Let's begin with some chilling practices and escalate towards the most nightmarish executions in history. Number 10. The Rat Dungeon In medieval London, the Rat Dungeon was a place that struck terror into even the hardest of criminals. Located deep within the Tower of London, this dungeon kept prisoners in utter darkness, chained and helpless. The dungeon's proximity to the river was key to its horrors. When water levels rose, it forced the riverside rats to find new spaces, often leading them to the dungeon. In the pitch black, the prisoners could only hear the scurrying sounds before the rats began to gnaw on them. Over time, exhaustion would set in, and the rats would feast more freely, with the torment lasting days or even weeks, ultimately leading to a slow, agonizing death. Number 9. The Rack A notorious torture device from the medieval period, the rack was designed to extract confessions from criminals, prisoners of war, or those accused of heresy. The victim would be tied to the rack with ropes attached to their limbs. The executioner would then turn a wheel that gradually stretched the victim's body, dislocating joints and causing excruciating pain. Often, the agony would force victims to confess to crimes they didn't commit just to make the pain stop. The aftermath left many permanently crippled with dislocated shoulders and hips. Anne Askew, an English Protestant martyr endured hours on the rack, leaving her paralyzed before being burned at the stake. Number 8. Keel Hauling Keel hauling was a brutal naval punishment reserved for the worst offenses at sea, like mutiny or theft. The condemned sailor had their arms tied with a rope that was looped around the ship's hull. They were then thrown overboard, and the crew would pull the rope, dragging the sailor under the ship. The barnacles encrusted on the hull would tear the sailor's flesh as they were pulled along, causing deep wounds. Drowning was a constant threat, and survivors, if there were any, would often suffer severe infections from the barnacle cuts. The terror of the experience, combined with the physical toll, made this a dreaded punishment. Number 7. Crushed by Elephants This method of execution was a demonstration of both power and cruelty, used in various civilizations but notably in India as late as the 19th century. The condemned was placed before a massive elephant, trained to crush the victim underfoot. Sometimes, the execution was drawn out, with the elephant crushing the limbs first, prolonging the agony before delivering the fatal blow to the head or chest. The sheer spectacle of this method made it a powerful tool of intimidation, showing the ruler's absolute control over both life and death. Number 6. Impalement Impalement, one of the most gruesome forms of execution, was used in various cultures with a particularly brutal history in 17th century Egypt. The condemned were forced to lie down as a sharp, greased stake was inserted into their bodies. The stake was driven carefully to avoid major organs, prolonging the suffering. Victims were then hoisted up and left to die slowly, the stake eventually piercing vital organs. The impalement were often displayed publicly as a warning, their agonized deaths a testament to the consequences of defiance or serious crimes. Number 5. Poena Cule A particularly symbolic form of execution in ancient Rome, Poena Cule was reserved for those guilty of parricide, the murder of a close family member. The condemned would be sewn into a leather sack, along with several animals, such as a dog, a rooster, a viper, and a monkey. The choice of animals was deliberate, each symbolizing different traits like treachery and cunning. The bag was then thrown into a river, or sea, where the criminal and animals would drowned together. The struggle inside the sack, combined with the symbolism of the animals, created a scene of chaos and terror, fitting the Romans' view of familial betrayal as the ultimate crime. Number 4. The Blood Eagle According to Norse sagas, the Blood Eagle was a ritualistic execution reserved for the most heinous of traitors. The victim would be laid face down, and the executioner would slice open their back, exposing the ribs. The ribs were then carefully cut away from the spine and pulled outward, resembling the wings of an eagle. Finally, the lungs were pulled through the wounds, draped over the ribs. Though the victim might remain alive through much of this process, the pain and terror were unimaginable. The Blood Eagle was meant to be a display of ultimate power and cruelty, leaving a lasting psychological impact on all who witnessed it. Number 3. Scaphism one of the most horrifying methods of execution in ancient Persia, scaphism, or the boats, involved the condemned being placed between two hollowed-out boats or tree trunks, with only their head, hands, and feet exposed. They were force-fed milk and honey, which caused severe diarrhea. The victim would be left to float in stagnant waters, where their own filth would attract insects. Over days or even weeks, the person would be slowly eaten alive by the insects, dying from a combination of dehydration, starvation, and infection. The drawn-out nature of this death, combined with the humiliation of being consumed by insects, made scaphism one of the most feared punishments of its time. Number 2. Flaying Flaying, or skinning alive, has been used throughout history as a means of torture and execution. The executioner would carefully remove the skin from the victim's body, either in part or whole, while the victim was still alive. The pain was excruciating, and death often came from shock, blood loss, or infection. The skin was sometimes displayed publicly, serving as a gruesome reminder of the consequences
circumstances of defying authority. One of the most notorious uses of flaying was by the Assyrian king Ashurbanipal, who flayed his enemies and displayed their skins on city walls as a warning to others. Number 1. Lingqi, Death by a Thousand Cuts Lingqi, or slow slicing, was a Chinese method of execution that was both torturous and humiliating. The condemned was slowly cut to death, with small pieces of flesh removed from the body one at a time. This process was designed to prolong life as long as possible, while maximizing suffering. The executioner would start with non-vital parts of the body, such as fingers or limbs, before moving to more critical areas. Lingqi was reserved for the most serious crimes, often against the state, and was meant to serve as a powerful deterrent. Deterrent. The method was officially banned in 1905, but it remains one of the most excruciating forms of execution ever practiced. And there you have it, 10 of the most horrifying methods of torture and execution in history, each more terrifying than the last.